For the last four weeks, I have been building, modifying, and playing with this quadruped robot. It is based on the spider robot designed by Regis Su, available on Thingiverse and described on Instructables. Links are in the video description. It uses an Arduino Nano to control the 12 servos. The original used manually wired Perth board to connect them all together, and I was going to do the same until I checked out pinouts for the Nano and decided that the replacement body from SB43201 that allowed the Nano expansion board to be used is a much simpler solution. The link to this design on Thingiverse is in the video description as well. However, this design was for SG90 servos and my MG90s were slightly deeper, so I had to remix the design to get the servos to fit. I made a few other changes at the same time, such as additional mounting points for the expansion board and a hole for an on-off switch. The code to drive the robot is based on code from some founder for their quadruped robot kit. The code looks strange at first as you specify the X, Y and Z coordinates for the end point of each leg and the code translates this into angles for each servo. It also calculates the speed each servo should move at so all arrive at the destination at the same time. Regis has modified this code for his own quadruped spider robot and I have further modified it to provide additional moves similar to those provided by the Phoenix quadruped code and in addition to monitor the LiPo battery capacity through the balance connector. The LiPo battery monitor uses three of the Nano's analog inputs with potential dividers adjusting the voltage to measurable levels and additional current limiting resistors. The 12K resistor on the ground line, for example, is to stop the analog lines floating if the balance connector is not plugged in and to limit the current to a safe level if it is plugged in backwards. The code checks for this and also if a two or three cell LiPo is being used. If the balance connector is not plugged in, then the battery monitoring is automatically switched off. So what moves can the robot do now? Let's see. The robot can stand up, stand at ease or relax pose. It can move its body backwards and forwards. Or side to side. It can sprawl and recover. It can gyrate. It can buy or stand tall. It can twist its body from side to side. or tilt its body side to side. I call this move stagger, although it's less of a stagger now that I've changed the code so that the robot moves its body and hence its centre of gravity away from the leg that it's about to lift. And of course it can still move forward and backwards. Turn to the left, and turn to the right. It can wave its arm side to side, or even up and down. Or sit. Same as usual. The robot is driven by a switching back that converts the LiPo voltage into 5 volts that powers the interface board. 
There is also a HC05 Bluetooth interface which allows me to monitor what's going on on my cell phone.